Hi guys, so today's project is my billet table. Now, there was actually nothing wrong with my billet table. It was just your average traditional billet table with a green cloth and a wooden base. Now, it was a bit old fashioned for me, like my husband. So I wanted to modernize it. So I decided to paint it black and change the cloth to blue. So what I'm up to is the bottom, the base. I spray painted it a nice gloss black. Have a look, very nice. You can see your, your reflection through it. Now I'm up to the cloth. I need to take off this green cloth and put a blue cloth. And now the top of the billet table is just over here. Come with me. This part here, I'm gonna spray paint that black and then do a marble finish silver look on top. So I'm gonna get onto that now. So I have my frame here of the billet table. All I need to do is unscrew all the pieces, take the wood off, take the cloth off and recloth it. Alright, so we're up to taking out the staple. So all I'm using is a flat screwdriver and all I'm doing is putting it under the staples and lift, popping it up like that. And my core is on this side using pliers to pull them out. So we've taken out all the staples here. So I'm just going to take off the green cloth now. And you can see that's the rubber. That's what the ball bounces off. So I'm going to recover this with my new cloth. So I'm just going to put that back where my green cloth was. And I'm going to use the staple gun to staple this across. And don't forget when you're doing this, you need to pull it tight. So I'm going to start from this side here. I'm just going to secure it in. Once it's secured, then I can start pushing it in nice and tight. Now you've got two sides that you need to staple. So the front and the back. So I'm going to go ahead, staple this part, pull it tight, staple this part and then do the edges. Now, the tricky part is the corner here. So with the corner, we don't want to fold on this side. We want it to be like you can't see any creases or any folds. So you've got to take your time, staple, work around, fold out the creases. And if there is a crease, you can take out another staple and keep folding until you get a smooth finish. Okay, so this is the end I just finished. So I had to pull it nice and tight so you've got no wrinkles there. So that's all done. So the other side, this one, we need to actually put a fold in it. So it's nice and tight up here. So it's like folding a present. So if you come down here and have a look. So we push that in like that. And then we'll have a line that goes flush against here. And then I'm going to staple it against there and it's like folding a present. So I'm going to go ahead and staple all that now. So I'm just about to paint my frame black and I like to use a spray can that has the primer underneath as well. So it just sticks better. So I've been checking this can vigorously for a while. So I'm just about to paint. Let's have a look. I'm going to do a few coats of this. Looking better already. So I just finished my second coat of my skirting and it's nice and glossy and black. So now what I'm going to do is give it a marble look with this paint. See how it's got that marble look? So I'm going to spray that now. Here it goes. I'm going to paint it. I hope it turns out. Ooh, nice. Bit of a spider effect. Spider web effect. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. That's pretty. Thank you for your help. You're more than welcome. You're welcome. You can't shake it in the paint, right? <laughs> 
I am ready to paint the corners of the filling table and it's going to be silver. Check out my frame. It turned out beautiful. Have a look. It looks like real marble and it's just paint. Check it out. I'm really happy with that. And I put the silver corners back on and it just matches really nice. I can't wait to put this on my billiard table now. So I'm just gonna get the side rails now that I reclothed and line it up against the frame of the billiard table. And I'm gonna go ahead now and screw it underneath. Check out my frame. It turned out better than I expected. Like I could picture it, but I didn't think it would turn out that good. I'm so excited to finish this project and get it all together because it's gonna look amazing. I need to now recloth my slab. Now my slab is just behind me, so I need to prepare it. So what I'm gonna do now is take out all these staples, pull this cloth off, have a look at the slab underneath, I need to check it out to see if there's anything I need to do to prepare it before I can recloth it. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is to pull out these staples. All you need is a flat, sharp screwdriver to go underneath it. So just drive it right underneath, pull it out. Just they pop out like that. And then with some pliers, just go through them, twist them and pull them out. So they're not hard to do, they're just time consuming because there's a lot to do. There is a big sigh of relief on my face right now because the slab at the back is in really good condition. All I need to do is recloth now. Now I need to recloth the slab of the table. So what I've done, I laid it out and I need to staple this side first. Pull it tight on the other side, staple it, and then either side, pull them tight and staple it. Okay, so this is the middle part here. So I'm gonna secure this part here with the staple gun. So I'm just gonna put three in here. Now you always work from the middle and work your way out. Now I'm gonna go onto the other side of the billet table, pull it tight, secure that side before I come back and redo this part. Okay, I'm on the other side now, and I'm gonna pull this nice and firm. And I do have a wrinkle in the middle, but that's okay. Because what's gonna happen is once I secure this part, and when I work my way up and down, I'll be able to pull it and I'll be able to get these wrinkles out. So that's nice and centered and secured now. This is my finished product. I'm really happy with it. Take a look. All I need now is lessons how to play billiards. Bye.